6.4 is on relating fractions, decimals, and percents. So normally I would just put this up in blue and have the class fill in the blank spots in orange. But as you can see, my sheet is already filled in here. Um, the first one already filled in. One half written as a decimal is five tenths. As a percent, that's 50%. And the word percent literally means per 100. So that means how many divided by 100. And this gives us a good way to make comparisons. Right? If somebody just said, you know, there was a certain number of people at the airport um, were late, well, how many per 100? Right, or we talk about maybe a certain number of people of a certain ethnicity at our college. Well, how many is that per every 100? So we get a sense of the portion. Um, there are several ways you can kind of convert these. Um, if you're given three fourths, you could say, well, that is three divided by four. Right, three divided by four. And four won't go into three, so you put a decimal and add zeros. Well, four goes into 30 seven times, and that's 28. And you subtract that, and you're left with two. Four won't go into two, so you have to add another zero. And four goes into 25 times. And that gives you 20. And so when you get a remainder of zero, you know that that's your exact answer. Another way you could do it is say, well, can I convert fourths to some power of 10 so I can write it in a decimal? Because I know that's the tenths place that's the hundredths place. The next one's the thousandths place. And I can't, four doesn't go into 10, but four does go into 100. So I could multiply the bottom by 25. And then you multiply straight across and you get 75 one hundredths. And that's how we write it as a decimal. And once you know per 100 or here 75 hundredths, then it's 75%, 75 per 100. And if you were given 0.37, well, that's 37 hundredths or 37%. 1.451 is 100%. It's a whole 100%. And then 0.45 is 45%. Or you could read off, that's 145 hundredths or 145%. 145 hundredths. That is 28 thousandths or 2.8%. See, again, that's more than 100%. One is 100%.
or you could read all the way to the hundredths place, 4,321 hundredths or percent. 32% uh, is 32 hundredths, 32 hundredths, 123 hundredths or 123%. That is one ten thousandth or 0.01%. And that is 43.2 hundredths or 43.2%. 432 thousandths. Now there's a really important theorem. If A over B is a fraction in simplest form, then A over B has a terminating decimal representation if and only if the denominator B contains only twos and or fives in its prime factorization. Okay, so for example, 0.25, that terminates, that decimal terminates right there in the hundredths place. And 25 hundredths is the same as one fourth. Notice the four, the bottom, has only twos as factors. Whereas 0.333 and so on is a third, we can write that using a repeat bar where three is the repetend. And notice three on the bottom, right? It's not made up of twos and or fives. We need only twos and or fives because each decimal place is a power of 10. So tens are made up of only twos and fives. These are all examples of non-terminating decimals. They don't terminate. Uh, these are repeating decimals. Here are the eight three eight three eight three repeats. So the repeat bar only goes over the eight three. 8.3 is the repetitive. And here is a worksheet asking you to, you know, fill in those blanks with either a decimal or a fraction. And I have the answers here as well. Um, by the way, some decimals do not terminate and might also not repeat. So you can have non-terminating decimals. A classic one would be like pi. And it doesn't have a repeating decimal. In fact, let's see. All the decimal places, 3.14159, et cetera, et cetera. So it doesn't terminate. In fact, computers are still calculating the decimal places. <laughs> looking for different patterns inside and such, but it doesn't repeat and it's non-terminating. And that is it for this section.